Well, hello. So today, I am going to be embellishing an acrylic poi. A poi. <laughs> this acrylic pour, which already has an abstract skull on it. And uh, so that's the inspiration. I'm going to do a self portrait of my head without flesh. Right on here. I'm going to do a three quarter, I think a three quarter view because this is the good side of my skull. Yeah, just a tad dark. So let's brighten things up. I'll light a candle. Skull time. It's time to paint some. I don't know why I'm shaking it. No, don't. Yes. Yes, skull time. I'm Lydia Broderick and welcome to my channel. I do not want to ruin my skull candle by burning it. <laughs> Smells like Christmas. <laughs> okay. So this is actually a clock face. It's wood. Just had to knock on it. Knock on wood. Um, and it has a little a little, little, little hole, a little hole right there for the clock mechanism to go through. So this is actually going to be a working clock. And I'm going to first start out by sketching the skull, my, my fleshless head on here without um, hair as well. There's, uh, it's going to be a, ball, a, a skull without flesh, eyeballs, no eyeballs, and my orbital sockets. Hopefully I can get the correct shape. Um, but I'm gonna use a watercolor crayon to get the sketch on here, and then I'm gonna, you know, bring it to, well, not to life, because that would imply that it's, yeah, we're gonna bring it to death. Slightly macabre. People say, why don't you have more friends, Lydia? And I say, <laughs> well, that would be telling you. So let's get started. Okay, so something that I have just discovered is that when you have an acrylic pour on wood, the watercolor crayons don't even show up for a sketch. So I'm gonna be going in without a sketch, flying by the seat of my pants completely, and going straight in with acrylics. I'm gonna go in with the darks, and then lighten things up a little bit, maybe brighten up a couple things, and before I go into glazing with oils, if I even do oils, I'm debating that at this moment. So, take two. Yeah, tremendous likeness, I think. Looks just like me. Without flesh. This is, you know, a sentimental gift, I think, maybe for a special someone. Here's a self-portrait. 
No skin attached. Yep, I said that. But I really love the way this came out and I love how it's integrated. There's no oil paint on this, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm gonna take the claw cans off and I'm gonna resin it and I'll show you what it looks like once it has epoxy resin on it in the next video because I was asked by my child, who's going to be the tender age of 20 in a couple of months, he asked me to create a skull clock that is black light activated. Someone's texting me. I'm ignoring that right now. That is black light activated. So, we're going to be painting in the dark. And I love a challenge. So this should be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you're looking forward to it too. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I love you guys. Each and every one of you. Stop. Well, why am I so popular all of a sudden? No one ever texts me. Really? And I will see you next time. Bye. It's like a mirror. It's only just, it's like it, I'm looking into my own soul. Some people might want, you know, a, a good rendering of how they look alive. Not me, no. How would I look dead? I wonder if I can get the proper dentition.